If you press Alt and F4 at the same time, the game will go into a secret menu. Yeah, I'll have to try that. Remind me later. Thanks for having my back. Is this... The Undertale song? <laughs> Did they really just steal the Undertale song? Have they no shame? I was gonna make a YouTube video that was top 10 gayest people on the planet and put Prezza's face as the thumbnail, just as a joke. I still might do it. Don't tell him that though. So don't, don't, nobody tell him that. <laughs> Chad was arguing about if weed should be legal or not. Like, how can we still have that argument? Like, it's so painfully obvious that anyone who smokes weed should be thrown in jail and just lose the key. Who gives a fuck about them? I remember I smoked once. I bought a Bob Marley poster and was like super into Wiz Khalifa. Loved Mac Miller. I was all about that jet life to the next life. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying, dude? Still alive. Oh, never mind. I don't like Tyler the Creator, and I don't like Brockhampton. Terrible suggestions. You listen to Kid Cudi. Hey, vintage Kid Cudi's good, all right? It is absolutely good, and you know it's good. You're just pretending you don't like it. Honestly, you could say pretty much anything on the first album is probably pretty good. And then the second album, like, some of them are pretty good. And then after that, it, he just makes absolute butt cheeks for the rest of his life. It's like he's so drugged out of his mind that he's just completely lost it. Have you listened to the band named after you? No, well, yeah, I have a long time ago. Uh, I don't remember it off the top of my head. You guys want to see the, the Clint Stevens? Let me, let me open it. You guys will get a quick out of it. So for those who don't know, Clint Stevens domain, clintstevens.com is held by Clint Stevens Temp, Arizona. Clint Stevens is a seven piece reggae funk rock band formed in Temp, Arizona. The band was formed by Steve Rector. See, who the fuck are these guys? They just steal my domain. They're a fucking all-white reggae band based in Arizona. Clint Stevens comes and goes. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> what the fuck? Just smoking it out, man. Oh yeah, the Clint Stevens experience. I can't believe they took my name and did this shit. It's embarrassing. How does this happen? Somebody steals my name and decides to make a seven-piece reggae band of this. Let's read the comments. 102 win Dampe's first try. <laughs> Show feed. Reset. <laughs> We've said this is a mob's video. Needs more chickens. I didn't know Clint performed on stage. At least he's better at it than speed running. <laughs> I like how there's like a legit comment and then the rest of this is just cancer. <laughs> I can't believe you can't have a speed running for this. <laughs> that feel when Clint moves to LA and starts a reggae band. I miss the old Clint. <laughs> this is some elaborate troll joke. Is this like their headliner? The Clint Stevens headliner? They got like the fat kid from Superbad to like sit in the back and like pop his head. All right, I'm done. I'm done. This this is always good to come back to and see this shit though. <sighs> Stoners. Which, what, what would you say? Doing me proud, boys. That sounds kind of gay. Doing my name proud. Good work, boys. <laughs> there, that's lads. Yeah, sure. We'll say lads, sure. Flame them. Why would I flame them? There's enough negativity in this world. These guys are making fucking music from the heart. Using my name is a little weird, but it's cool nonetheless. Even thumbs it up. There you go. Sometimes I used to come too fast, so I would think about really sad things. And I started crying, which didn't really help the situation, so. Now I just come really fast and just get over it. You know, you just deal with that. I think it's a Clint Stevens. <laughs> nice name, wow. I remember most of the Clint Stevens got taken up right at the beginning and they were, when my channel was a lot smaller and all of them were incredibly racist and very mean. <laughs> so they gave me a bad rep. Oh, come on, man. I shouldn't have been telling my story. They gave me a bad reputation, but it wasn't my, it was, it was all a misunderstanding. You ever masturbate to a cardboard cutout? No, but I've masturbated to um, my imagination, obviously. I think everybody's probably done that before. I've masturbated to like a gardening catalog with like a woman that was like, 
MILF status, because I was on vacation and there was nothing else. I think it was home and garden. Desperate times, man. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. How big is your cock? It's um, seven inches flaccid, and when it gets hard, it loops around like a candy cane. You guys ever play Blur on the 360, like the racing game? I got some weird stories, because there was like, you'd have 20 person lobbies where people would like, would talk to each other, so it'd get kind of crazy. I used to play songs through my mic. I had like this little thing that would like plug into my mic slot and it'd play like music and it sounded like shit, but whatever, I didn't care. And I distinctly remember there were these two people that sounded like they were cool. And like, you know, we would, we would talk to each other a lot because the community was kind of small and we would play all the time. And there was this one guy who was like, he sounded like super black. Okay, like super tough voice too. Like he sounds like, he sounds like a fucking like, I don't know, dude. He sounds like so black. And then there's this other guy who sounds like he's like really black too, but not, well, not really that black. He just sounded like he was like older, maybe like mid twenties, kind of like frat boy voice. And they were like friends with each other. And I remember one time they had this conversation about, oh man, I'm pretty sure it was about like purses or something. And everybody, they're like talking to each other about purses and somebody's like, purses, that's gay as fuck. You guys talk about purses. And then this, this like black dude is like bitching out somebody saying that purses aren't gay. He's like, purses aren't gay. I got a purse dude. You gotta be fucking kidding me. I can't do a black person voice. And then there was, the other guy starts talking about how uh, he had like a like a daughter or something, but like he adopted it with like his gay husband. So, man, that was like the weirdest shit ever. But yeah, Blur was an awesome game. Man, I got like super sidetracked there for a second. It was really fun. It was good. I'm not sure where I was taking that story now that I think about it. <laughs> That's like all I remember from that game, that story about those two guys who were like gay for each other. They were my homies on Xbox. I played on the Xbox 360. They were on my friends list. All right, I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> so close, Pog Champ. I don't think I got this, man. This is too hard. Uh, it's too hard. I can't beat this game. It's too difficult. 